So let's talk about a problem that's plagued the IT world for generations, which is passwords. So many people create such terribly weak passwords that can be broken in minutes. And the problem is that the average person has between 12 and 30 different passwords, which includes PIN codes to bank accounts, to your ATM machines, and passwords for any of their accounts that they use to log into with an email. And what we're noticing now is that people are actually writing their passwords on post-it notes and actually attaching it to their screens or under their keyboards. Now, I was surprised because I thought that was a rumor until I witnessed it personally and still continue to witness it whenever I get hired to do intrusion tests. I'd like to debunk a myth around how hackers are cracking people's passwords. I mean, most people I speak to think that the hackers are trying to guess their password one by one when only a little bit of that is true. You see, we have access to tools that have password files which contain millions of passwords that are already guessed for us. So once we hack into a PC, we can copy your Windows username and password, and if it's weak like most people's are, it would take us about 90 seconds to crack your password. And that's why it's so important to create a strong password. Here's the best advice I can offer you. We've got several types of passwords. You've got passwords that only have letters, some that only have numbers, and of course you've got passwords with special characters. And to create a nearly unbreakable password, you want to have between 16 and 25 characters in your password. Now I know most of you people just fell off your chair right now thinking, is this guy nuts? How on earth am I supposed to remember a password that long? I know, I know, stay with me, it's not that hard. What you need to do here is think of phrases or song lyrics and create a password that has a mixture of all of these combined. So for example, let's make a strong password together out of a phrase, I had a great day at work 2018. So first what I like to do is remove the spacing and capitalize each letter of each word. Now the password looks like this. Pretty straightforward so far, right? Now I'm sure this password alone might be stronger than what you have right now. So let's build on this. Next, we want to replace the O's with a zero and the A's with an at symbol. Now the password looks like this. So all we're missing now is a symbol. How about an exclamation point at the end? So according to a website called passfault.com, the crack a 24 character password like this would take about four million centuries. And without the symbols, it would take about nine centuries. Now, if you find this password overkill, just use the at symbols and forget about the zeros and you'll be more than fine. Trust me, it's much easier to learn how to create strong passwords instead of having passwords automatically generated for you that look like this and it has no meaning to you whatsoever. Just use phrases and that'll definitely help you on your way. Strong passwords are increasingly important because more and more services are being linked together. For example, a lot of people I meet at conferences have a Hotmail account that didn't care if it got hacked because it only had junk mail in it. But when I brought up the fact that it was linked to their Xbox console account, which had an active credit card on it, they began to think how important a good password really is. So in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you some free technology that you're probably already using to secure your weak password, especially for those of you that are not willing to create an unbreakable one. So this concludes this tutorial on how to create a very strong password. I hope you learned something new and you're willing to tell your friends and family about this course. And don't forget to pass on your newfound knowledge to others. And always remember to visit terrycutler.com for more updates. And I'll see you in the next video.